Got remnants? Well, let's make a cute little tank top. Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with Surefit Designs, whimsically known as Glenda the Good Stitch. Everybody has remnants in their stash. And every now and again I go through my remnants and I think, what can I make with this? Well, since we moved to Idaho and we're facing a lot hotter weather, I'm wearing a lot more tank tops. So I looked through my stash and I found my black and white stripe and I found my black and neither of them were quite enough to make a complete black tank top or a complete black and white striped tank top. So I decided to mix and match the fabrics together. And I've got photographs here that will take a look at the design of it. You can see that on the right side, in the armhole, I started the design line. Now, when I talk about design line, it's a seam line, it's a style line, and that's what I'm going to show you how to create. So on the right side armhole, here we go. It starts there, crosses basically over the right side apex, then the left side apex, and ends up on the lower left side seam. And so you see this gentle curve coming from one side over to the other. And as we take a look at the side seam photograph, it's the side of the tank top, and here you can see that design line or style line ending in the side seam. And there you see the black front and the striped back. And of course, there is the back of the, the tank top. So what I'd like to talk about is how to make this design line. This design line is considered to be asymmetrical, and that's because the right side is different from the left side. And so in order to do an asymmetrical design, you are always best to have both the right and the left side of your pattern copied out. Normally, we often work with just the one side or the other of the pattern. And in the case of asymmetry, you really want to see both sides so that you can see the whole picture. And so you're going to trace off the opposite side. And that's easy to do. You're going to be working in tracing vellum. I'm just showing you this on a half size pattern but you'll understand what to do. And I should also mention to you, these half size bodice patterns are found in surefitdesigns.com. You just go to the shop tab, scroll down, and you're going to see a tab called free stuff. There's lots of great things in there, but these half size patterns are one of them. So that's where you'll get your copy of this to do this. And it makes it fun to play around with the half size patterns and test it out make sure your design's going to work. So let's take a look at the next step. You've copied off both the right and left side and you have taped it together in the center. I need one more little piece of tape up here. And by the way, when you are taping your patterns together, make sure you have the removable tape. This is something we carry. It's absolutely perfect for when you're working with your tracing vellum or any paper for that matter because it does remove without ripping the surface of the paper. Okay, so we're all taped together. Now what I need to do is basically draw on here the design line that I'm now going to create. So, you'll remember that I said that on the right side, I started in the armhole of the right side, and then I'm taking this design, I'm just gonna pencil this in, in a, a red pencil, and you wanna do this in a regular graphite pencil. I'm just penciling it in because now I want this design line to end on the lower left side. So once you're satisfied with that, then you can draw that in a, a more dominant color. Now, I am going to be using these pens, the uh, ink pens at home. Please make sure that you're using pencils to do this with, because if you make a mistake, it is just so easy to erase. And then, of course, I'm just pulling in my designing stylus here, 
and if the curve gets really tight you can always use one of your other our other tools called the designer's companion and in this case I should be able to draw this whole curve just with the designing stylus so as I said that's a style line also called a design line and it's going to become a seam line now the next thing I need to do because I am going to cut apart on that is I need to be able to sew this back together and make sure that the seam matches so I absolutely want to make X's on either side and that's going to be our matching notches you can make them a little bit higher up or lower down it's it's up to you but you do definitely want to make uh, your X's for your matching notches then the next thing that we need to do is move the dart around now in the Surfit Designs dress kit in the instruction book you're going to find complete directions on moving the dart around but as a, a review and that kind of follows along with that what you basically have on your pattern this dark black dart here that's called the dressmaker's dart that's the one you sew out for good fit on your body so when we take a look at this tank top then you'll see just the basic dressmaker's dart right there because we want to move the dart I need to do and draw what's called the designer's dart so let me get the line drafter here and I'm going to make this in blue and you can see that I'm taking it all the way up to the apex it's very important to take it all the way up to the apex and this is called the designer's dart it's called the designer's dart because we're going to design with it we're going to cut it out and move it around okay so now I've got my designer's dart I want to move this right hand dart up to the armhole and this left side dart down to the side seam so in order to do that because you can see that my design line hasn't crossed my apex completely on either side so what I'm going to do now is just draw another little line I'll just take this short ruler to do this because I will need to be cutting on that blue line and I'm going to need to be cutting on that blue line all right now I will cut I'll put this into the line of camera here I hope that I don't get my head on the top of this I'm cutting on the designers dart and I'm cutting all the way up to the apex and I'm going to remove that on that side and then I'll do the same thing on this side so I'm cutting on that blue designers dart up to the apex it's kind of fun to do this in the half size patterns it's good practice for you it builds your confidence to be able to do your own designing and um, I know that you're going to enjoy playing around with this okay and you know before I forget I should also mention to you we have a great DVD called darts versatile and amazing this DVD shows you four different positions for moving the darts around and is one of the DVD tutorials that we have and when you purchase an actual DVD tutorial from us you will also get the 100% discount code to go to one of our resource websites it's called sofitacademyonline.com and when you actually get a physical DVD I know that lots of our computers don't have drives to play DVDs anymore but we give you the 100% discount code to go and watch this completely free in the Academy so we've got you covered whether or not you have a DVD player or not anyway this darts DVD is kind of an extension of the basic information that we have in the dress kit instruction book and of course the design I'm doing right now is just even still a little bit more uh, a little bit different here so now the next thing I need to do 
is I'm going to cut on this design line and right now I'm only going to cut part way through. And then what I need to do is cut down on this blue line and you know that reminds me any time that you cut into the apex you really should have a little piece of tape over top because that apex is going to become the pivotal point and you want to stabilize it just a little bit. So now I'm going to cut down up to the apex so that I can shift this dart. So I want you to watch very carefully what's going to happen. I'm keeping the apex stable and I'm going to move that side bust dart closed and look what happened. It opened it up in the armhole area. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. And so if you're a B cup dart, you get a B opening in the armhole. If you're a D cup dart, you get a D opening in the armhole. That's the nice thing about having a bodice that fits you because when you've got the correct bra cup size in there and dart shape in there, any designing that you do with it, of course, is always going to fit you. All right, the next cut I need to make is on this green. It's not green, it's red. Let's go down here to the red line, the design line, and I'm going to cut just part way. And now I have to get in position here to cut this blue line. I'm cutting up to the apex, and now I'm going to turn this back around so that you can visually see what I'm doing. We take that opening that I just cut and I'm going to pivot up to the apex like this. So this now took that regular bust fitting dart and moved it. I'll just do that one more time here. There is the regular bust fitting dart sitting right there on the side seam. Now all I've done is close that side seam dart and it's opened it up in the lower side seam. Now these little bits right here and right here are called the dart excess and we'll talk about what we're going to do with that. But first of all, what I want to do now is continue cutting across here and I'm going to separate the pattern from the lower half of the bodice to the upper half of the bodice. So there now you have let me pull this photograph back. The bottom half is the bottom half of, half of this tank top. And here's the top half of the bodice in the striped fabric that I used. And I will say this, the only difference is, is that I took at the waistline, I've added my skirt and took it down into uh, my lower hip level so that when I'm wearing leggings, it covers up the booty in the back and, and the front. So. Uh, there are instructions, of course, for doing that as well. So now I've got this little bit of dart excess here and here. What do you do with it? Well, one of two things. When you're working with a knit like this particular top is, I just left the dart excess there because I knew that I could ease it in to this seam line. But if you're working with a more stable fabric, you always can take that little bit of excess and just trim it off the armhole like that. And this little bit of excess would get trimmed off the side seam. So that's another way to deal with it if you don't have a fabric that's got a lot of stretch to it. Now, I have two matching notches right here and I've just cut my pattern in half. So you likely can guess what I need to do next and that is I must add seam allowances. So we'll take a piece of tracing vellum here and we'll get that taped down like this. And when you're taping, please make sure that you put enough tape in there so that it's not all falling apart and leaving big gaps without tape. It really is important to get all your edges taped down. And of course, I need to add a seam allowance here because if you don't, 
When you go to sew it together, you've obviously then lost length in your pattern. So anytime you cut a pattern apart in the interior of the pattern, always make sure that you add seam allowances back in place. And because I was working with a knit, I actually put on a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So I just took my seam gauge or your little ruler, whatever it is that you want to work with, and added in a 3 8 inch seam allowance right here. And you can see that I'm just marking it in with pencil. And then I would come back afterward and join those uh, little dots together. And this is likely a good time to pull into place this little designer's companion that is going to help to repeat the shape of the curve. So you can see I'm just connecting my little dots together like this and ending up with a nice uh, straight seam allowance or even seam allowance, should I say, on this side. Okay, and the same thing is going to happen up here. I have to find the right curve that looks pretty good to finish off this, bring up the armhole and connect like that. Now, then the next thing that you need to do, where's my green, here it is, is this matching notch needs to come up here and this matching notch needs to come up there. And the other alternative, of course, is if you want to add a 5 8 inch seam allowance, then we've got the SureFit Designing Stylus to help you do that. Because the slots that are on this Designing Stylus, the inner edge of the slot, I, excuse me, not the inner edge, the outer edge of the slot that is nearest the outside edge of the Designing Stylus, that is exactly 5 8 of an inch. And depending on the orientation of the Designing Stylus, you can also just simply draw through the slot that is provided. And so that's a 3 8 this is a 5 8 Of course, you need to be consistent. If you put 3 8 on one side, you're going to put the 3 8 on the other side. I just wanted to show you that we can add seam allowances with the Designing Stylus very, very easily. So that actually creates the asymmetrical design that I'm wearing in the black and white tank top right here. Now, again, just as a reminder, in surefitdesigns.com, if you go to the shop tab, you're going to see all of our half size templates. We've got them for the bodice front and the bodice back, the sleeve and the skirt. And um, also, while you're in that shop tab, you're going to see a, a tab that's called Digital Sewing Patterns. And there we actually have four different tank top instructions for you. So as an example, this one right here shows the tank top that I've got on this mannequin. Again, this is a very, very good example where I had remnants left over in my stash and I put the floral on the front. This actually was a cowl neck blouse and there I've put the black on the back. And the nice thing about these general instructions is they show you how to add the skirt portion at the bottom of the waist edge of the, of the bodice. And you can see here that it talks about dropping the neckline uh, for the scoop in the tank top and also how to bring the shoulder seam in. And uh, we show you some different design ideas of how to move that dart around. And also, I talk about finishing, whether you want to put on a facing or perhaps you want to put on a binding like I have. So you're also going to get five different ways that you can actually finish off the raw edges of the, of the armhole and the neckline. So our tank top instructions are available for you there and I know you're going to enjoy them. Please remember with SureFit Designs that we not only have our main website being surefitdesigns.com as well as our video website which is sofitacademyonline.com which is where all of our streaming video is housed for all of our DVD tutorials. 
We also have design and sew alongs there. We also have one other very important website. It's called the SFD for SureFit Designs LearningCenter.com. There, all of our YouTube videos are housed within the Learning Center. Everything is categorized, labeled, and numbered for your easy reference. So I hope you join us. I hope you look in your stash for the remnants that you have that you can put together a great fitting tank top with your SureFit Designs well-fitting bodice. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you later.